if I do a mitzvah, there's a schar for that mitzvah, there's a reward for that mitzvah. What is the reward for a mitzvah? Schar mitzvah mitzvah. The reward for a mitzvah is another mitzvah. Some, you do a mitzvah, so Hashem wants to reward you. What? He gives you an opportunity to do another mitzvah. That's why when somebody made a sin by accident, shogig, the Torah says, go bring a korban, bring a sacrifice to the Bet HaMikdash. Why? Why do I need, why, what, is the, what, what does the animal have to do with my sin? The, the, the cow didn't sin, I sinned. Why does the animal have to die? Because just like there's a reward of a mitzvah, is a mitzvah, the punishment for a sin is a sin. Which means that now that I sinned by turning on the light on Shabbat accidentally, it's still a sin, even though it's an accident, it's a sin nonetheless. So that means that the punishment for that sin would be an opportunity to make another sin. So the Chachamim say in the Torah, immediately, right after you made the accidental sin, go bring a sacrifice to the Bet HaMikdash. Why? That's a mitzvah. Break the chain. Why? Before you make your next sin, go make a mitzvah by bringing that sacrifice. Once you make that sacrifice, that's a mitzvah, you broke the chain. That means that immediately after you've, uh, you've actually made that mitzvah of the sacrifice, you'll have an opportunity to make a mitzvah instead of an avera. Which means that if you are on a roll of making mitzvot, Hashem will continue giving you more and more opportunities to make more mitzvot. If you're like chafif, you're like, whenever I get a chance, I'll do a mitzvah. Whenever I get a chance, maybe I'll do an avera. Then guess what? You're not going to survive the week. You're not going to survive the week. Why? Because there's only going to be sins coming. So a person that chases mitzvot, just like David Melech says in the Torah, please have, uh, I want to chase mitzvot my whole life. I want to chase mitzvot. Why do you want to chase mitzvot? Because he knows, if I make an avera, I'll have an opportunity to make another one. And another one, another one, and who knows where I'm going to end. And that's also why the kids, young people, old people, when they go off the derech, when somebody that's religious, born religious, you know, the hat, the strimal, the whole thing, the whole nine, and then one day you see this guy dancing at gay clubs. Like, what, the, what just happened here? What happened here? Like, how did you go from here to here? You went from Gan Eden to Gay Nom in a week? Like, what happened? How does it go? How does it happen, this stuff? It happens in a very simple way, Rabotai. Same exact thing, just a funnier thing, but... Generally the same explanation. Schar mitzvah mitzvah, schar avera avera. If a person makes a sin and simply doesn't care, he gets punished with an opportunity to make another sin. So the guy that went off the derh by just, you know what? I'm going to smoke a cigarette on Shabbat when no one's looking. So he smoked a cigarette after, on Shabbat, no one looked. No one saw except the Shem. But then all of a sudden, Shabbat comes out and some goya comes there and says, Hey cutie, what are you doing with that big hat of yours? And all of a sudden, she wants to be his girlfriend. All of a sudden, she wants to be his girlfriend. She never saw a Jew in her life, but she likes the hat. So now, yeah, he smoked a cigarette on Shabbat, but now he has a Goya girlfriend. <laughs> and where does she want to go? She goes, what do you want to do? I don't know. Let's go to the casino. Okay, fine. So then they go to the casino together. So you got another Avira. And then the casino, and then this, and then that. And Hashem, Hashem, what happens? After three weeks, this guy's made so many averot, he doesn't even remember what he used to look like. He used to look like a chassid, now he walks around with a tank top and shorts. The parents see him, like Hashem, Hashem, what happened to you? What, how, how did you go from here to here? Stop paying attention. You stop paying attention to the fact that you're making averot, and that's how it works. The Satan will take a person, literally, from Gan Eden all the way to the bottom of Geinom. Why? That's how the system works. So if you watch yourself, you pay attention to the things that you do. Every time you make a mitzvah, good, look for the next one. Every time you make a mistake, you make an avira, you look at the girl that's half naked, you looked at her, okay, chatanu avino shen, oh, Hashem, I'm sorry. Why? You broke. When you say I'm sorry for the sin, that's a mitzvah. That's a mitzvah. So guess what? Instead of Hashem sending you another, another girl, He's going to send you an opportunity to do mitzvah. You have to do tshuva constantly. Constantly. We can't bring uh, a cow to the uh, Bet HaMikdash. There's no Bet HaMikdash today. But we could say, I'm sorry. When we say, I'm sorry, that's the same thing. That's the point of the cow, to say, I'm sorry. You say, I'm sorry to HaKadosh Baruch Hu for making a sin, I'll give you an opportunity to do a mitzvah. And you'll see little by little that it's a cause and effect that, yes, you can in essence dictate what kind of opportunities you have in your life, whether you'll have more opportunities for mitzvot than avirot, but again, it's only if you pay close attention.